What's up guys, Jimmy J, aka Cryptographic. I have been, I confess, sleeping at my desk again because I work hard, you know? I'm always working, I'm always trying to bring you guys good content. And this is Ghost Mode, not episode one, but the pilot. This is just a teaser. And the reason I keep looking around is there's this huge bug. There he is. This is the guy that woke me up. I was asleep, literally asleep at my desk again. Somebody's got to volunteer to be the person that makes me get proper sleep. But this guy was flying all over my, my face. It's huge. You probably can't see the scale properly because of the... Um, you know, because there's nothing to, to hold up next to it for scale, but it's a big damn bug. That's one thing in Australia, we have big bugs. Anyway, ghost mode, yeah. I'm going to be releasing episodes. I'm going to try and release them weekly. It's going to be either weekly or fortnightly. Um, I want to show you guys all the vulnerabilities that you didn't know you had in your Macs, in your Windows PCs, in your Androids, in your iOS phones. And we want to start to build our security from the bottom up and, and get a little bit better at protecting ourselves, protecting our assets, protecting our personal information. Yeah, um, because, you know, we keep all sorts of things on our computers, guys. We keep pictures of our IDs. We keep our personal information. People can see that. Often just all someone needs is access to your laptop or your computer, and they can steal your whole identity and do God knows what with it. So I wanted to show you a little teaser today um, and a reason to never leave your Mac outside outside your own your family or or in the in the care of anyone who you don't know or never leave it anywhere where someone could possibly uh gain access to it without you knowing right so we have um this mac that's been brought in and i'm doing a bit of work on it and if i change maybe the camera here is going to i'm not sure if it's going to Just switched it on. I've got to work out a good position for the camera so I can see the screen because I can't do screen capture, um, you know, during the boot up phase of turning the computer on. Anyway, I just put an SSD in this guy's Mac Mini, so the boot up shouldn't take too long but it's an old Mac Mini. And I think he said the SSD was second hand too. Finally booting up. Um, so eventually it boots up here to the, to the boot up screen and I don't know this guy's password. He brought me the computer the other night and it was late at night and I didn't want to it says 4.37 a.m., but it's not 4.37 a.m. because the system clock hasn't been set yet. Um, now, I happen to know that this particular person hasn't set up his Apple ID yet during the setup. The original setup of his Mac, he did not set it up with an Apple ID. Yeah? So, even though I don't know his password, I can try all these guesses, password, or whatever. Um, it's just going to not let me in. I don't know what it is. So, what I'm going to do, and this won't work on all computers, a simple protection against this one is just to have your Apple's, Apple ID set up. So, this particular vulnerability, um, as long as you have your Apple ID set up in Sierra and above, uh, you're going to be safe from this, this particular vulnerability. Um, so, all I'm going to do right now... is turn it on, hold down command and R, and go into recovery mode. So we boot up into recovery mode. Now bearing in mind for all of you who are watching, um, 
you will be safe from this particular method. Okay? So, uh, it won't apply to everyone here as long as when you first set up your Mac, whether it's, I would, you know, it would be better if it didn't have your legitimate details, but if you could set up an Apple ID, uh, it would, it would mitigate the risk of, of this particular vulnerability. Okay. <coughs> So recovery mode starting. We've got that lovely spinning spinning beach ball that everyone loves so much. Psh, about to shoot up. Get into recovery mode in about three, two, one, go. Look at that. I know my max, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so all I'm gonna do from here is go into utilities, terminal. You are gonna. This is gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna simply type. Yeah, you know, hold the phone here. Reset password. I'm gonna click enter. Oh, looky, looky! This particular person does not have his Apple ID set up. So I'm gonna click on his account. I'm gonna click next, and I'm gonna set the new password as password nice and easy password hint is no hint because I hacked ya ha 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 alright so next I've reset it uh, we can restart and I could now log in with that password and access all of your information. Okay, so since this damn computer seems to be taking so freaking long to log up, this is why you guys want to, everybody wants an NVMe SSD these days. Even even the 2.5 inch SATA SSDs aren't good enough anymore. But, um, oh come on, this is really a little bit of a joke. This particular person went into the Apple store and they told him that the computer was too old and they wouldn't fix it for him. <laughs> so he's brought it to me. Um, but anyway, I mean, and as I said, that first vulnerability, um, I'm going to put, here we go, we're at the login screen. So we're going to type in password. Bugada boom, password is changed, and then I'm s and then straight away, you I can click create new cheat, create new keychain or update keychain password, and I have the password to your entire keychain. I've just changed the password to your entire shit. Look at this, all of your stuff. I'm in it. There's nothing on this particular computer, as I said, because I just did a fresh install for the guy. But guys, simple way to mitigate risk of anyone doing that to your computer is to have your Apple ID, whether it's your legitimate details or not, we'll go into that further in episode one, but have your Apple ID um, set up on your Mac as soon as you get it as part of the initial setup, okay? All right, vulnerability number two. Let's say I turned it on again and I still didn't know your password, so I would restart. And this time, instead of holding Command R, I'm going to hold Command S when I hear the the startup chime. Ugh. It's killing me, come on. These Mac Minis, they get too hot. Mac Minis, iMacs, all that kind of stuff. And then here we are. Look, I'm Mr. Hacker here. And whether or not you got your Apple ID set up, no matter no matter what you got set up, I'm going 
gonna set up if I can set up the camera here so that you can see the screen because I actually need to work to, to, to get this done Okay, there. So, you can see the screen. I'm going to type in CK space Y, which is actually a good command to do anyway. You're just going to basically like clicking first aid in disk utility, checking all your permissions and everything, and, and um, making sure the disk is in good order. But now I also have root access. So from root access to your computer, I'm gonna type mount space dash UW space slash. And then I'm gonna type RN space slash VAR space DB space dot capital A P P L E capital S E T U P capital D O N E and click enter then I'm going to click reboot and click enter this Mac is going to reboot itself reboot itself I, I was, I, just because I was asleep at my desk and it's 1am and I need to get some proper sleep, I'm not going to edit this video. I will, however, put timestamps in the, in the description, um, for those of you who want to, you know, skip the, all the, these loading sequences. Um, so what I have just done from that screen with all the funny code that you didn't understand any of or you understand or you understood the whole thing depending on your experience level what I've just done is tricked your computer into thinking that it is being set up for the first time alright is your mind blown yet? is it blown yet? I can now set up your computer as if I was the owner of it completely with, with, with a new everything with new Apple ID and new everything but your data contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. See, your Mac is even talking to me now and helping me through the process of setting up whatever password I want, whatever username I want, whatever Apple ID I want, getting inside and all your data is still there on your Mac. So never leave your Mac unattended. This has been the pilot episode of Ghost Mode. If you liked it, click like, click subscribe, read my description if you want to get into cryptocurrency. There are going to be, uh, there's going to be a proper Ghost Mode episode one coming soon, and your Windows users, users are going to be annoyed. It's going to be Mac. We're going to teach you how to set set up your Mac from the ground up um, to avoid vulnerabilities like this. But ultimately, rule number one in the pilot is never let your Mac into the hands of anyone you don't know. Yeah? I'm going to get some sleep. I love you guys. It's Jimmy J. Peace out. And I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.